Part two, go back and watch part one and bear with it. I'll get you in and out of this heresy as quickly as possible. No Nuance November and welcome to Controversial Tuesday. It's not the loving kindness and it never was and the ultra grace and the all encompassing washing away that Christians currently uh, teach you. It's the same old requirement. It's the same old requirement that you change. It's the same requirement that you not be a mix of good and evil. And it's the same old requirement that you discern and go through the act of deconstructing what you're taught and forced to be in this world. This world forces you to survive. And if you want to survive, you got to adapt yourself to being evil. You have to do whatever it takes in order to survive. Yahweh did not want mankind to fall into that, that way of being, which is do whatever it takes to survive. Do whatever it takes to be rich. Do whatever it takes to selfishly get yours, preserve yours, and forget everybody else. Yahweh wanted mankind to change and to roll out and deconstruct out of that. Yahweh knew that men would perpetually be tempted to be that way. Because you can't, we're in a world in which you, you have to do whatever it takes to survive. And there was always the temptation to be a survivor in whatever form you choose. So Yahweh required that if you want to be reconciled to itself, you don't just utter words and then say you're saved and then go out into the world and spread this. Yahweh requires that you deconstruct out of yourself your narcissism, your survivalist mentality. Same old, same old. Same since the beginning. Same boundary that it gave to its creation. That's not radical grace. That's just a reissuance of the same requirement. And that's a journey. You're not saved just because you order, utter some words. You're not a Christian just because you go to church. You've only begun a journey that's a lifelong journey of deconstructing and disabusing and, and pulling out of your character all of the flaws that the world sickens you with. Humans are built to survive. And those that survive have to do whatever it takes to survive. What Yahweh wants is that you choose a kind of and a way of surviving that doesn't involve evil. That's not ultra great. That's the same old, same, same requirement, same boundary. It's the original understanding that it gave to mankind. It's never a law. People teach it like that. It's just a boundary. You're in this world. Don't be of this world. How do you be like that? That is a process. That is painful. And it requires neural flexibility.